What's up, YouTube? Here to do a prediction video for the 2015 Royal Rumble, the start of the road to WrestleMania. So, let's just get things started. First off with the pre-show, we got The New Day versus Tyson Kidd, Cesaro, and Adam Rose. And honestly, I don't give two shits about this match. So, I'm going to go with The New Day just because they're The New Day. Don't really care. So, there you go. First one off the board. So, we get to the real show. We got the Bella Twins up against Paige and Natalia. Um, I'm gonna go with the Bella Twins on this one just because there's nothing really to this with this match So maybe just give the Bella Twins a win because Nikki's a champion and I don't know Maybe do something with Natalia and Nikki because I thought that's where they were leading because Tyson was all touchy-feely with Nikki, but you know, it is what it is Maybe we'll get that at Wrestlemania or they'll probably just do what they did last year Just have one big old Divas match just have everybody on there for the title so everyone can get that Wrestlemania payday so next up we have the Ascension up against the New Age Outlaws. This match was made this week on Raw when all the old people came back. And then the Ascension said they're all old, so they get the hell out of here. And then, you know, APA comes out, and then New Age Outlaws come out. They beat the crap out of them. So now we got this match. And the Ascension have just been rolling through people. And I'm going to go with I'm gonna go with the Ascension just because, if you think logically, the Ascension will win because they're young, athletic, or not athletic, but they're young, muscular guys. And then they're going up against the New Age Outlaws. And it's going to be interesting to see how this match plays out because the Ascension, like, really haven't even been having matches. They've just been running through people in, like, less than two minutes. So we're going to see if the New Age Outlaws put up a fight or the Ascension just runs right through them. But either way, I'm going to pick the Ascension to win. So then we got a tag title match with the Usos up against the Miz and Damian Mizdow. And I'm going to pick the Usos to win. I'm surprised that the Miz and Mizdow dropped the title so early. I thought maybe they would have this match with Miz and Mizdow as the champions, and the Usos would win, and that would kind of start with the breakup of Miz and Mizdow, and then that would lead to the Royal Rumble. And then maybe, like, Miz or Mizdow, either Mizdow eliminates Miz, or the Miz is going to get eliminated, and the Mizdow is going to be an idiot and be so uh, devoted to his craft that he jumps over the top rope and eliminates himself because he's imitating the Miz. So I think that's either way, those things are going to happen, and that's, you know, it's going to lead up to the Miz and Mizdow match at WrestleMania 31. So, uh, Usos with the W on this one. So, we have the WWE World Heavyweight Championship match. John Cena and Seth Rollins and Brock Lesnar. This this past week on Raw, Brock Lesnar kind of turned babyface a little bit because he was kind of being a badass and he was going up against Seth Rollins. He was going up against the authority. He didn't really give a crap about, you know, what Paul Heyman thought. He just wanted to kick some ass and take some names. And so... Well, it's kind of interesting to see where they go with this. If Brock Lesnar wins, there's like they're talking about me take a, taking the title off of Brock Lesnar. I have no idea why you would do that. I would keep Brock Lesnar in the champion until WrestleMania because he beat the streak and you got to make that streak count as much as it because you know it took 21 years to get that streak. So you got to build it up as high as you can. And so the man who defeats the man who defeated the streak, you know, got to be a big deal. So I got to I take Lesnar. Don't know if it's going to happen. Maybe John Cena will win. Maybe Seth Rollins will win. But I don't think John Cena is going to win. I think I'm picking either uh, Brock Lesnar or Seth Rollins to walk out of there with the title. Maybe uh, Seth Rollins cashes in and he walks out the champion. But Brock Lesnar is the champion and he's going to walk out the champion. So the whole reason why we're here, the Royal Rumble match. Winner goes on to face the champion at WrestleMania 31. And there's really like two or three people that I think will win. Either Roman Reigns, Brock, or not Brock Lesnar, Dana Bryan. Maybe Randy Orton, and then, I don't know. Since maybe they turned Brock Lesnar heel, maybe Bray Wyatt, I don't know. Maybe The Undertaker comes back and wins, then he gets revenge on Brock Lesnar and he beats him, and then there you go. But I highly doubt that'll happen. Uh, so, Roman Reigns, Dan O'Brien, those are the two people that I think are going to, that have the chance to win, have a realistic chance of winning. So Roman Reigns, I'm going to I'm gonna pick Roman Reigns to win, because Roman Reigns, I don't know. Because at the Legends panel, they pick Bray Wyatt, Dana Bryan, and Dean Ambrose. But, uh, but Hulk Hogan picked Dana Bryan, which is a good thing. Because I think when they did the last panel, uh, Hulk Hogan was the only person to pick John Cena and say he actually had a chance. And if it wasn't for Seth Rollins, John Cena would have won. So, you know, maybe because Hulk Hogan picked him, maybe that's foreshadowing. Hopefully. Because I want Dana Bryan to win. I want Dana Bryan to win, but I think Roman Reigns is going to win. Uh, I don't know how that... Uh, I think they're in Pittsburgh, or no, they're in Philadelphia. They're in Philadelphia, and if Dana Bryan gets eliminated by Roman Reigns, 
which I don't think, which is not a smart move at all. For if it comes down to Brock, if it comes down to Dana Bryan and Roman Reigns, uh, I don't, I don't know what they're gonna do. This is gonna be real interesting to watch. See how they kind of tiptoe around, get maybe getting Dana Bryan eliminated, maybe get him in there early. Maybe the uh, the authority screws him over. They put him in number one, and then he like runs the table, and then like right before Roman Reigns comes out, he gets dumped out, and then Roman Reigns eliminates the person who eliminated Dana Bryan. So then he's the hero and everything like that. So. Uh, this Royal, this Royal Rumble is an interesting one. There's no clear-cut winner because uh, there's definitely a thing with Big Show and Roman Reigns going on. Maybe Big Show eliminates Roman Reigns and then that goes on to WrestleMania or Fastlane or whatever. But I don't think that's a good match for Roman Reigns to go with the Big Show because Roman Reigns hasn't been having good matches lately. And putting him out there with the Big Show in front of all those people, that I don't think that's going to get over at all. So, uh, Roman Reigns, I'm picking him to win the Royal Rumble, but I'm... Crosses my fingers to hoping that Dan O'Brien wins. Gonna do that Royal Rumble pool with my friends. Hopefully I pick Dan O'Brien's number. Hopefully I pick Dan O'Brien and Roman Reigns' number because I'm guaranteed I'm gonna win money if I get those people's numbers. So, uh, thank you guys for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. Tell me what you guys think about the Royal Rumble. Who's your pick to win? Who you thinks gonna win the WWE Championship at the end? Uh, WrestleMania predictions. It's about that time. WrestleMania's coming around. I'm about to be there. I'm about to put out hella videos because I'm. I got. Let's see. I got the list right there. I already planned out everything, what I'm going to do. So, uh, thank you guys for watching. Follow me on Twitter and Instagram. Links are in the description below. So, uh, thank you guys for watching. We will see you on Sunday Royal Rumble. Bam!